Welcome back, everyone. This is episode two. Of, this is episode two of the B Word Delivery Bot Devlog. It's been a little while since the last video. I apologize about that, but here I am. I'm back. That's all that matters. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to have a little honorable mention. We've had Pickle Jesus play testing our game, and he even said good job so wholesome thank you for that pickle i've added quite a few things since the last devlog and we're just gonna go through that today first of those new things being a level select screen so here you can see all the levels that are currently out which are nine levels at the moment so with this level select screen you can see your level stats which is how long you take to complete the level and the deaths you also now need to unlock levels by completing the level before it so these levels i can't click and play because i haven't completed this level here but you can see by the lack of stats right all of these stats are saved within the new save system that i've created over here so there's a little save data folder and that holds the player stats and the level stats now the good thing about having a save system like this is it works across all devices This is a little bit of an off topic flex right but i recently got a steam deck and being able to play your own games on like a handheld console like this it's just like heartwarming like I, I feel like a real developer now like look at this that's my game anyway let me show you what else is new let's click the little door now you've seen this level already but i want to show you some of the new ui changes so you can see the log now displays how much time you have to deliver the package and it will also warn you when you have half the time left and a quarter of the time left. A little thing about the UI that I intentionally done is kind of layered it weirdly, right? So with the log system, you can actually walk in front of the text and like block where it displays, as well as your package. It just gives like a little bit of a depth effect to it and I really like it. The same goes for the UI over here, the pause menu. The player layers on top of whatever is shown here. So I can put my package up here and jump over here and my particle effects and the package are like all layered on top another new thing with the log system is it now finally displays how long it takes you to complete the level so if i were to deliver the package now it would say something like 45 seconds now the next few things i've added are to do with the package and the player with the package and player every sound effect is 3d so if you're wearing headphones you can hear the player over here in the left headphone and if I go over here, you can hear me gradually transition to the right headphone. It just makes the game feel a little bit more interactive, you know. We also added a little rebound effect to the package. So whenever it hits a wall or an enemy, it will display this little bit of like dust particles. Now finally, I've been working on a new ability for the player. So I'm going to call this like a package jump ability. So if I were to hold down right click, which is a drop package button, you can see a little bar. And that bar shows how long I have to jump on the package. Like that. I just really like how the sound effects and the particle effects just like play together really well. It's just so addicting to spam it. If I were to time it right, I could land on the package and double jump again. And if I don't hold it, I'll just fall right through the package and pick it up. I want to use this new mechanic to force the player to use their brain and place their package somewhere where they need to jump on it and double jump somewhere else, like out of reach, right? It's also accidentally created like a new speedrunning tactic. So if you time it right, you can actually jump on a package, drop, grab it, double jump again, and then land on the package again. Does that make sense? Let me try to demonstrate to you how you do it. Not like that, obviously. I don't know what you would actually use that for, but it's just fun to play around and do it anyway. Now for the final list of things in this devlog are all to do with levels and enemies. I've made traversing through the levels a whole lot easier. So now all the player has to do is deliver the package and walk through this little gap over here onto the next level. It just makes traversing through levels a whole lot more seamless and connected, you know? And this is one of the new levels and you can see that it kind of extends beyond what I can see. That's because it does. 
So if I walk over here, you will see the camera smoothly follow the player and reveal the rest of the level. This kind of just opens the door to a whole lot more I can do with levels. Like I can make it look, I can make it a lot more difficult, add a lot more puzzles to it, just make it really interesting, you know? Over here, you can also see the new enemy. It looks slightly different. It's inspired by those robots you see in America, I think, where they deliver food to students and stuff like that. Now these enemies aren't too different from the common enemies you've already seen. They're just slightly faster and tankier. So they take two package hits instead of one. That's all I have time for today, unfortunately. I know it's a very short video, but you know, size doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed what I added. If you don't, let me know. And remember to wish this a game on Steam, like right now. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.